Hi, I'm Nick, a PMP Certified Project Management Professional. If you are into project management, you might have received a request from stakeholders to bring in the percentage completed from the baseline and measure it against the actuals. We have the actual percentage complete field in MS project which we can directly use. But we don't have a field called plan percentage complete or the baseline percentage complete. So how do we create this field? I'll show you how to create baseline percentage complete in four simple steps. So let's get started. I'm Nick and you are on Nick's Projects channel. So if I want to see as of any day what's the plan percentage complete I can go into project project information and I want to see as of um, 5th December if I select 5th and say ok you notice that the planned percentage complete is calculated as 80 percent so let's see how these fields are created i want you to go to um, this is my youtube channel let's go to my blog nixprojects.com slash blog so i have typed in all the formulas required uh, if you go into this page you can click on project management and continue reading so I have typed in all the formulas required to calculate the planned percentage. Let's build a new project. So now that we have our project, let me insert a column for percentage completed. So as of now, I have not started any work, so it's all zero percentage now let me add in my first uh, column which is the duration so I'll go in here and say number one um, so this is basically I'm following the steps that I have written down here so I'll name it as duration in days I'll copy that and put it in the title say yes uh, I had to go here and do customize fields so let's go to number one this is the first number that I'm using click on the formula and just type in the formula that I have here grab the actual formula so I'll paste it here so what it does is it basically takes the duration from this column and if I don't convert it it shows the duration in minutes so this is a function that that's available in uh, MS project if you can if you want to see all the functions available you can go into Google and type MS project uh, functions and you'll notice that you have different functions available uh, in MS project here I have typed in the formula and just click OK and use the formula in here in the calculation for task and group summary rows and click OK now you notice that whatever duration I have here I have used in this new column now let's insert the second column uh, which is again a number so I, I have already used number one for this field so I'll use number two and the title I will call it as uh, this is the step two of this process so I'll call the title as elapsed days it doesn't matter what title you give in because it's basically 
checking you know using the number one and a number two field uh, just click OK and now if I go to tools and customize the field for number two I have the formula I'll explain what this formula is so I'll just go to number two use the formula and paste the formula um, for some reason uh, if I type in or copy paste the formula as is it still give me an error I'm not sure why so if you get an error like that you basically want to go in and type that D again with the double quotes D again click OK if there are errors it shows that there is an error and it will highlight the error so I, I'm not sure why it does that but basically you just have to type in again there's nothing wrong in the formula so I'll do the same thing again here uh, click OK and use formula here click OK now you notice that it has given me error because I have not set the status date yet so let's go and set the status date as uh, since the project is beginning on Monday let's maybe third yeah so on third we have completed two days now we have the elapsed days here go back to our blog and now taking the step three which is nothing but planned percent I'll copy that and I'll say insert column uh, I need a number again since I use number one and two let's use number three and paste in the field and then go to tools and customize fields use the formula basically I'm just this is number one and I'm number two so in order to arrive at the number three I'm just dividing number two divided by number one just give OK and use the formula so you notice that you all already started getting the plant percentage complete all right now only other thing that you have to do is to make sure that you format it to show it as 40 percent so in order to do that go to, to insert again a new column this time we are going to do a text so if you look at here this is the fourth step that I'm doing and we'll call it as plan percentage complete So I'm using text one and say OK and I come here and then click on customize fields and use the formula and I'm just trying to format this this is number one to a number three so I'm formatting the number three to have it as percentage so just click OK and use the formula now you notice that as of any status day uh, this field calculates the planned percentage complete so once you have this column you can basically go ahead and then hide it hide columns so then you will have only your actual percentage and the plan percentage and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye